He said things like, you know, don't worry about what you're going to eat or drink. Don't worry about your life. In fact, I put it right here. Therefore, I tell you, since God is your father and he knows what you need, I tell you, this is Jesus talking. Don't be anxious about your life. Don't worry about your life. (laughs) We just pray and be done right there. Stop worrying about your life. Don't worry about what you're going to eat. Don't worry about what you're going to wear. Don't worry about what's going to happen next. Don't worry about how your boss is going to handle things. Don't worry about your life. That doesn't mean ignore the context. If God has opened up a door for you to go to work, it's not because that's the only way that he could meet your need. That's because he wants you to improv, walk in his life that the spirit leads, trust his equipping with your identity in Christ, trust who he has made you as your father in the context that he has opened up to you. So we don't not go into the job that he's asked us for, but our heart up isn't in how well we do the job or how much favor we get from our boss or how much we sell that day to customers. We can't control any of that. We're just walking in the context that he calls us to through the doors that he opens to us, improving from the life that he has given us for what only he can accomplish through us. You are freer than you know. You have greater rest than you know. You are more empowered than you know. You have the very life of Christ in you for what you do not know because of him that you do know. You are crazy, okay? Jesus improved his life. He is not wanting you to figure it out and plan it out and accomplish it any better than he did. He looked around after teaching all day and looked at the disciples and said, hey, it's getting late. Or actually, they said, it's getting late. Let's send away the crowd. And he goes, eh, why don't you feed them? He didn't have that plan. He didn't draw them out there so that they could starve or that the disciples would be stuck. He's just trusting God. And here we are with people who are hungry and uh, there's nowhere for them to go to get enough food and we don't have enough money to feed them. Let's see what God does. Let's improv this and I'm gonna choose to trust my father instead of freak out in the circumstances. I didn't have this plan. Do you have this plan? Anybody have this plan? Anybody even bring any food? And one little boy said, well, you know, I didn't finish my lunch or I brought something for later because I wasn't headed straight home. And they, they improv with what they have. Can you trust God enough to improv with what you have? Because what you have is the very life of Christ in you. You are well equipped for the moment ahead by the one you know for what you don't know. You are well equipped for whatever lies ahead. The next moment, the next day, the next hour, the next week, you're well equipped with the life of Christ that you do know, increasingly know, for the circumstances you don't know. You have enough mastery because of Christ's life in you to improv the circumstances that come up next. Jesus said, look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns. They're not striving. They might look like they're striving, but what they're really doing is worshiping. Listen to them. They're taking what they have in front of them and enjoying the life that God has given them in any moment, in any day. They are worshiping. Look at how great today is. Look at the sun that's rising. Oh, I'm hungry. There's a worm. Oh, my chicks need food let me go and get something and they go and get what they need and they celebrate their design flying around in the air praising god in their song all the time look at the birds of the air they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns and yet your heavenly father he's not their father he's your father you're the one in relationship with him he just likes birds but he's your dad your heavenly father feeds them are you Maybe, maybe you need to really ask yourself this question right now. Are you Roger and Cindy and Donna and uh, uh, Nancy and Corey? Are you today Mike? Are you Mike not of more value to God your father than the birds that aren't panicked? about the circumstances. Maybe you're not supposed to figure out how to rest. You just choose to live from his rest. Maybe you're not supposed to figure out how to be victorious. 
Maybe you're just supposed to walk in his victory. Maybe you're not supposed to perfect your dependence. Maybe you're just going to depend upon him as best you can and let him weave the mode of your day as a parent, as a child, as an employee, as an employer, weave each modality into the next, into the perfect song like only God can orchestrate. Maybe you don't have to be God of this moment in your life. Maybe God can be God for you right now. And he's actually your father and cares more about you than he does the birds of the air who are having a great day. The flowers of the field might be a hotter day. They might be going without a little bit of water, but they're having a great day. They're beaming as best they can. And then their time is up and we're okay with that, right? We know something of the end from the beginning because of him who gave us the beginning is bringing us to the end and we can walk with him. 